How you doing, Team Up? And welcome back to another episode of Hard News with Murdoch. Now, I normally try and keep my episodes as lighthearted as possible, but I can't today because I have heavy news to tell y'all. In case you don't know, Elijah Cummins, representative for the 7th District of Maryland, is no longer with us. He passed away due to medical complications. This is definitely an inspirational person because he was literally born as a son of a sharecropper and then he went on to graduate from Howard University with a bachelor's in political science. Then he went on to law school and graduated University of Maryland School of Law and obtained his doctor's degree. Now it was way too much for me to cover here with his story. I'll leave a link below on how he literally went from being a civil rights activist that was on the ground literally with Martin Luther King at Selma, then practicing law for 19 years before he was sworn into office in the House of Representatives. He's one of the members of Congress that actually voted against the Iraq War. He was also one of the members of the Congressional Black Caucus. He was also head chair of the Oversights and Government Reform Committee that is doing the investigation on Donald Trump as we speak. I can literally sit here and go on and on about him, but I would rather y'all take a look at this montage put together by the Washington Post so y'all can see him in action for yourself. Take a look. We all should be able to agree that in the United States of America, we will not intentionally separate children from their parents. We are better than that. We are so much better. There are efforts to stop people from voting. That's not right. This is not Russia. What country is that? This is the United, this is the United States, States of America. America. You know, history, I think, even if we did not win, possibly, uh, if there were not impeachment, uh, I think history would smile upon us for standing up for the Constitution. And it's a very simple point, but it's one that I live by. It says, I only have a minute, 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, I did not choose it, but I know that I must use it, give account if I abuse it, suffer if I lose it. Only a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. We will love one another, love one another. and always show mutual respect for each other, and be courteous in our speech, Slow to take offense, Slow take offense. And, always and always ready for reconciliation. I've often said that our children are the living messages we send to a future we will never see. But now our children are sending us to a future they will never see. There's something wrong with that picture. But my interest, my interest in them is solely making sure that I get everything I'm entitled to so that I can do my job. Because I need to know that the record is complete. And I'm going back to the f truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We want, you know, you well, have to ask for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, that's what we want to have. Put, let the, the world see it. Why is it that you only want Mr. Blumenthal's transcript released? Why don't you I'd want I'd like to have survivor? all of them released. But this is a part of your destiny. And I mean that from the depths of my heart. When we're dancing with the angels, the question will be asked, in 2019, what did we do to make sure we kept our democracy intact? Did we stand on the sidelines and say nothing? People say, oh, you're just messing with the president because you don't like, it's not about not liking the president. It's about loving democracy. It's about loving our country. It's about making a difference for generations yet unborn. That's what this is all about. And I'm begging, I'm begging the American people to pay attention to what is going on. Because if you want to have a democracy intact for your children and your children's children and generations yet unborn, we have got to guard this moment. This is our watch. We are better than this. <laughs> now, at first, I was having a bit of difficulty trying to figure out how to end this episode because it's so well covered in the media and a lot of people have a lot of nice things to say about him. 
So I'll just tell you what he means to me and what people like him represents to me. Elijah Cummings is the story of a man that believed in himself and tried to become more than the sum of the parts that make him the human being that he is. And it shows how much greater you can be, especially when you're trying to do something for the greater good and not just for yourself. And it shows how powerful you can be, how powerful we can be if we just come together, okay? And with that, that's all I have. Like, subscribe if you like what you see. Remember, the revolution isn't classified. Later.